Hi, this skill is going to be providing pericure to a female resident who has become incontinent. Like all skills, we start with quippers. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. My name is Pam. I'm going to be your Cena today. We need to get you cleaned up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and then collect my equipment. So at this point, we're going to wash our hands and I'm going to go get the equipment. Okay, flip it over, and of course, there's our barrier. Go ahead and spread your barrier like any other skill. And then put your stuff down. Notice how I have the gloves right on top because it's important that we have our gloves on. So, let's go ahead, get the rest of our stuff out. Mrs. Smith, I'm going to get some water and we're going to have you feel it to see if it's comfortable to you. Go ahead and let the water run for a little bit. And you want this warm, definitely not cold and definitely not hot. And again, it's very important that you ask them for their preference of their water temperature. Mrs. Smith, can you go ahead and feel this? Tell me if it's comfortable to you. How's that? Good. One more to go. Is that comfortable to you? Perfect. Notice how every time that I expose something, I cover it back up. So go ahead and get your area prepared. I'm going to put my gloves on first because the very first thing that we do in Pericure is remove the soiled uh, incontinent pad underneath them. So, Mrs. Smith, I'm going to go ahead and pull your privacy curtain, and then I'm going to raise the bed up. And the only reason I'm raising the bed up is so it's to my working height. Okay? So, here we go. I'm going to get your call right out of the way for just a moment. Okay. In order to get that soil pad out from underneath you. I need you to scoot this way real quick. Can you do that? You need some help? One more time. Perfect. Bend this knee up and I'm going to have you reach this way on three. One, two, over. Oh, perfect. Notice how I'm recovering her with the blankets. Okay. And at this point, what you're going to do is go ahead and fold this up. This is the soiled one. And you're going to try to tuck it underneath as much as you can. Please be careful because you can have them flip over. So a good hand sometimes on their hip will help you with that. And let's go ahead, put this down, get my soil bag out. Put that at the foot of the bed. And I'm just going to go ahead and half this pad just about like this. So it's on the edge. And then go ahead and go up underneath and tuck that just as good as you can. And then you can fan fold it and do the same to this. All right, Mrs. Smith, you're going to have a hump behind you. And it's just going to be for a second. Roll back. There you go. Okay. Can you reposition this leg for me? Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to lift you just a little bit. If you could help me roll, that's great. And then when you come over to this point, you want to come over here and take a peek. You just go ahead and remember all your soiled is you're folding in and away from you. And then this is a good spot where you can just straighten this on up. And then you have this. Cover them back up to put in your soiled bag and then have them re-scoop back to the middle of the bed. This is for safety reasons. Mrs. Smith, can you just scoot right back to the middle of the bed? Perfect, and then we can get started. One more lift. I'll help you put this leg down. Okay, recover them back up until you get going because you're gonna have to put your peekaboo blanket, as we called it in class. Okay. 
So go ahead and take that blanket, take your corner, any corner, doesn't matter, that'll give you a good lead, and just fold it up next to their face. This is to keep you warm, Mrs. Smith. And stretch it out, and this way you can pull the sheet out from underneath this blanket, not exposing them, and keeping them warm. Okay, Mrs. Smith, can you just bend those legs up just a little bit? Be very careful. Those uh, knees sometimes don't bend as quick as you think they will. So when I want to work with her, again, why we call it the peekaboo, because I can pull this up and then put this down. If anybody ever came through the doors or the curtains, they're always covered. So again, situated. This is going to be my wash and this is going to be my rinse. So I'm going to go ahead, make my mitt, use my soap, again never putting the soap into the basin, and then here's, you go ahead and you pull up. Now I'm going to expose her just a tad more than I normally would so you can actually see the wipes with your non-dominant hand, or the one closest to her, go ahead and spread the labials apart just a little bit. The back of my hand is going to be the first swipe down the middle, and I usually set a third finger, if you'll notice. Third finger, third finger down, change spots. I'll use this one. The left of the labia, my index, and the right of the labia. Always wiping down, clean to dirtiest, and that would be in the direction of down, okay? So instead of twisting my hand around, covering her back up, returning back to my wash, making my mitt, more soap all the way around. How are you feeling, Mrs. Smith? Are you warm enough? Again, I'm gonna be using the pinky, the index side, this time I'm going to use the front and the back. So with this one, I'm going on the outer of the labia majora index on this side. Now since I'm over here, I'm going to use the back of this hand to do the, to do the uh, groin leg area, and the back of this hand I'm going to go this way. Okay, she has just been washed. So, like our little saying, whatever you wash, you rinse, and whatever you rinse, you dry, we'll just work our way through. Now we're going to start all over again with the three wipes in the beginning. Okay, down the middle, middle finger, change spots, this labia, index, going around this small labia, going down, notice there's my three again, go back, get some clean water, and this time it's my four wipe. Pinky, on the outer of the major labia. Here we go. There's my rinse. And I'm going to do everything right now before we go to the back side because if you forget to do any of these, you are incorrect. Patting dry, going from front to back. Make sure you got the sides of the groins too as well. Okay? All right, Mrs. Smith, what we're going to do is we're going to do the back side real quick, and then you'll be done. Okay? We're going to go through the same procedure we did in the beginning. We're going to have you scoot towards me. Okay? We'll put this leg down here. And you're going to reach over here, and we're going to turn together on three. One, two, three. Okay? Again, reposition the blankets to cover. But this time we're going to do the buttocks area, so you will have to expose that. Go back to your soap. A lot of repetitive here. Now, in this area what you're going to do is you're going to do the buttocks. There is no need to be concerned about changing the spots on the cheeks. So here we go, cheek, cheek, cheek. But what is important? is when you go into the groin area, you gotta change your spots. So go in, wipe, 
And the little saying we said in class is up the back. So if you do a in the crack, it's up the back. Everyone would be familiar with that saying if you were in my class. And we're going to go rinse. Cheek, cheek, cheek. Turn in the crack, up the back. Okay? And then, of course, we go to drying. This is a good time to check out the skin area, see if there's any red marks or any breakdown. So you're patting that dry. Now, this is where here you need to double check. Is that incontinence pad that you put on there originally, is it dry, is it clean? If it is not, this is when you change it. Same thing as before. Go ahead and single it out, edge of the bed, band fold it or roll it, it's up to you. Tuck underneath. Make sure it's up underneath. Mrs. Smith, you're going to have that hump you need to roll over again. Okay? Are you okay? How's that feel? Straighten this leg up. And again, I'm going to just have you lift a little bit towards me. Okay, great. And I'm rolling away and in. Setting it in my soiled linen bag. Straighten this out. And go. Okay. Mrs. Smith, can you push yourself over, scoot to the middle? Great. One more time. Just making sure you're just in the middle. There. Let's straighten your legs out. And we're going to pull this back up. I'm rolling this away again. Notice how they're never uncovered. And the important thing is to keep them warm. Okay. Again, soil linen bag. Good time to go ahead and get this situated. Make sure you check your facility though. They may have some type of a linen bin in which they roll in. At this time, I just take advantage and clean up my area since I'm right here. Go ahead and dump one in the other. Put your soap up. This is just putting your equipment up. Okay. You've got this. We'll go ahead and take care of this. This is your equipment. And like with anything else, whatever you wash, you rinse, and whatever you rinse, you dry. Mrs. Smith, I'm just going to put you down real quick. You notice how I'm using my finger. And I'm going to clean my equipment, and then I'll come back and make sure that you're all taken care of. It's very important that you make sure that they go all the way down to the lowest level before leaving the room. Okay. I'll be right back. Wash this. Okay. Toilet. Let's do a rinse. Toilet. Wash that baby up. Goes in the toilet. And one last thing. Oops. There we go. Now, not to redo the whole video again, if you were on top of the game, you would have noticed I poured the water in, into the sink, and you need to pour it in the toilet. Remember our saying, anything that's below the waist, you pour in the toilet. Anything that's above the waist, you can pour in the sink. Don't worry about it. Back of my hand, in case you worry about it, make sure you take your gloves off correctly. You will be graded on that too as well. Put your equipment up, and then you could continue cleaning your area. 
use your barrier to dry. You can put that in your linen bag. Looking around, make sure I make sure I have everything. Okay, Mrs. Smith. Let's get your bed looking pretty neat. Are you warm? Would you like the head of the bed up? And asking the preference, as you notice on your um, silver packets, it's very important. So, all right, since you want to lay flat, um, I noticed that you had your arm in a bandage over here. So I'm going to put your call light on this side so you can reach it. And also I'm going to go ahead and put your bedside table. Is there anything else I can get you? I'm opening the curtain. I'm quivering out. Okay. Would you like a drink of water? No? All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to put it right here on your bedside table so you can reach it in case you change your mind. Please call me if you need anything. And at this point, go ahead and take your dirty linen. And just like before we leave any room, we are going to wash our hands. And this concludes our skill. Thanks.